Today's video will be all about allergic tannins. I will cover areas such as firstly, what we know about allergic tannins, secondly, sources of allergic tannins, and therefore how we can incorporate these natural bioactive chemicals into our diet, and finally, the anti cancer properties of allergic tannins. So please stick around until the end of the video to fully understand some of the health benefits allergic tannins can give you. Now while there is evidence to suggest these compounds can support us in a plethora of ways when consumed at the recommended doses via diet and supplementation, it is still key to first consult your doctor before supplementation or any changes you plan to make as a result of this video. However, the points made in this video are backed by scientific studies. Okay, let's get started. Allagitannins are a family of bioactive chemical compounds found in fruits and nuts such as pomegranates, berries, walnuts and almonds. Squeezing whole pomegranate juice yields the richest source of allagitannins among other fruit juices. Pomegranate allagitannins are not absorbed intact into the bloodstream but are hydrolyzed, i.e. broken down chemically to allagic acid over several hours in the intestine. Allagitannins are also metabolized i.e. broken down chemically, into urolithins by the bacteria present in our gut. These urolithins and allergic acid circulate in the blood and can reach many of the target organs where the effects of pomegranate allagitannins are noted. But ultimately, after roughly 60 hours, most of the urolithins will be excreted in the urine. This is why it is important to maintain a healthy diet, which includes foods such as pomegranates and nuts, to regularly supply our body with these compounds that can circulate in the blood and have all the beneficial effects I will discuss throughout the video. Pomegranate juice and even isolated components from pomegranate juice have been shown to inhibit the proliferation, i.e. growth and cell division of several types of cancer cells in a laboratory setting. One study showed that the treatment of one specific type of colon cancer cells with pomegranate juice agents resulted in the release of mitochondrial cytochrome C into the cytosol of cells. And the release of cytochrome C chemical from the mitochondria of these cancer cells essentially commits the cell to cell death or cellular suicide, also known as apoptosis. Pomegranate juice extract may also be a promising drug candidate to inhibit the metastasis of triple negative breast cancer. Currently, the standard treatment for triple negative breast cancer patients is chemotherapy, which is highly toxic to patients. Triple negative breast cancer patients mainly die due to the cancer metastasizing, which is a migration and invasion of cancer cells, and pomegranate juice extract markedly inhibited the migration and invasion of the triple negative breast cancer cells in a petri dish and at the relatively high concentrations, PGE induced apoptosis, i.e. cell death. Again, this is really promising results, but we just don't know how pomegranate juice extract will perform in animals and patients with regards to cancer. Not only do pomegranate juice and extracts display activities that can inhibit cancer progression, we also have some evidence of pomegranate juice preventing and inhibiting mutagenic and cancer-promoting activities in cells. In this study, the animal model was exposed to cigarette smoke. As we know, cigarette smoke increases risk of cancer by increasing inflammatory signaling in cells and damage to our DNA by chemicals such as benzopyrenes. Evidence shows that pomegranate juice modulated and reduced these inflammatory signals, prevented the damaging activities of benzopyrenes and essentially significantly reduced the incidence of lung cancer in these animal models. Inflammatory signals can be promoted within us due to several things, whether that be environmental pollutants or certain foods in our diet, which we may be exposed to on a daily basis. So this consumption of allagitannin rich foods isn't just relevant to cigarette smokers. Pomegranate juice and extracts have been shown to help as a preventative and treatment for several other cancers such as lung cancer, skin cancer and prostate cancer via inhibiting proteins and interacting in those cellular signaling pathways that are pivotal for cancer development and progression. For specific examples, please see the references in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this whistle-stop tour of allagitannins. In future videos, I will aim to cover other benefits of these compounds, such as their anti-aging properties, so please comment down below if you want to hear this. And please comment your opinions surrounding the contents of this video. And remember, pomegranates and nuts contain high levels of allagitannin compounds, so be sure to incorporate these into your diets on a regular basis to benefit from their anti-tumorigenic and anti-aging properties.